In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create interlacing text. The techniques outlined in this video are based on the written tutorial by Corel Draw Master Ariel Garaza Diaz. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. I have two characters created with the text tool. Each letter has a different color, and I'll move one atop the other so that they overlap in two places. For the first intersection method, I'll convert both letters to curves, which will enable me to use some of the shaping commands. Now with both curves selected, I'll click the Intersect tool in the property bar, which creates a third object. This object is comprised of the two shapes where the letters overlap. I'll move this object above the others in the object docker to bring it to the front and give it a new color to make the shapes easier to identify. The two intersection shapes need to be filled with different colors, one to match the red letter and one to match the blue. So with the intersection curve selected, I'll break the curve apart. I'll make the top one red, though I could also just delete it. I'll fill the bottom shape with blue. Returning to my original letters, I can also get the interlacing effect without converting the text to curves. With both selected, I'll choose Objects, Shaping, Intersect. Like before, I'll move the intersected object to the top of the order in the Objects Docker. I can break this curve apart from the Objects menu, or I can press Ctrl K, then fill just one of the shapes using the color of one of the letters. The previous methods work nicely for letters with solid fills, but in the case of other types of fills, such as gradients, the interlacing effect requires a few extra steps. I'll create the additional intersect object as before, but when I break it apart, the individual curves have their own gradient fills. I can easily erase the bottom intersecting curve, but for the top curve, the S should be in front. This means the G needs to be trimmed by the top intersected curve. I'll first select the curve that does the trimming, then shift select the object to be trimmed, which is the G. I'll click Trim, and now the G is broken in this spot. When I delete the curve, I have the effect I want. I can move the G away temporarily to see how the trim was made. In this example, I have my two original letters, and I'll use the Contour tool, which can be found in the Effects toolbar, to apply identical outside contours to each letter. I can't get intersecting curves while each letter contains a contour, so I'll right-click on each contour in the object's docker and break it apart. The intersecting areas will be where the two contours meet, so I'll select both contours and intersect. As before, I'll color this object, move it to the top, and break it apart. I'll delete the bottom shape. There are two ways to fix the top intersection. I can use Trim twice, once with the trimming shape and the G letter, and the second time with the same trimming shape and the G contour. Deleting the shape shows the interlacing. Or, returning to the untrimmed top intersecting shape, I can shift select the trimming shape plus the letter and contour. The Simplify tool will trim both the letter and contour at once, as I can see when I delete the shape. I can get a nice effect when I select both contours and use the Properties Docker to give them a gradient fill. In this example, I'm using a contour to separate the letters, though in the final result, the contour itself won't appear. As before, I'm breaking apart both contour groups, intersecting the contours, coloring and ordering, and breaking apart. As before, the lower intersection shape isn't needed. And at the top, I only need to trim the letter, not the contour. When I select and delete both contours, I have an offset overlap. These letters look nice with a block shadow effect, which is one of the tools in the effects toolbar. This technique can work on objects as well as text. I have a line of text, and I'll use the two-point line tool to create a jagged line across. Then I'll use the smooth tool to round each node. I'll change the color of the curve and make it much thicker. And in order so that the curve can be used to generate an intersecting shape, I'll choose Object, Convert Outline to Object. I could use the Objects Docker to move the curve behind the text, but I can also use Object, Order, Behind, 
and use the arrow to click the text. This places the curve behind the text. Now I can intersect these objects, color the resulting intersected objects to match the curve, break them apart, and delete alternating intersection shapes. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on interlacing effects in Corel Draw. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial.